I decided to make a do's and don'ts list for penny shopping that's kind of beneficial for myself the things that I do when I go to Dollar General so hopefully these do's and don'ts work out for you guys just as much as they're working out for me I decided to type out my list because if I would have weaned off the top of the dome, I probably would have forgotten something. So let's just jump right on in. And this list is not in order. I just typed out some stuff. So the first on my list is make sure your Wi-Fi is connected to Dollar General. Then that way your DG Go app will definitely work. Um, what I like to do is like my Wi-Fi at home is auto join. So when I go to Dollar General, if I'm pulling up or walking in the store, my phone will automatically connect to Dollar General's Wi-Fi. And that way, my DG Go app can definitely work because your DG Go app, which will be on this side of the screen, it will not work unless it is connected to Dollar General's Wi-Fi. Really simple, really easy. Download the app. Make sure your Wi-Fi is connected. All right, the next one is already have in mind what you want first. I know for myself, when the penny list comes out, when I get my penny list, I already know in mind what do I want. So let's say, for example, some sugar. They have a tons and tons of sugar at my store. I already know that because I scoured my store the previous day before or that Sunday. So I go to the store that Tuesday morning and I go directly to the sugar to save time because you will never be in the store by yourself. There's always going to be another competitor, another penny shopper coming in, in there, you know, doing the same thing that you're doing. So the next thing on my list is don't ask employees for help when it comes to the penny items. If you're doing regular couponing, that's fine. But when it comes to penny shopping, never ask a Dollar General employee for help because in our actuality, excuse me, they are supposed to take all the penny items off of the shelves. So if you're asking them, who knows, they probably forgot and got busy. But if you're asking them about the penny list, they're going to remember. And then once you leave, they're going to take everything else down. So... Don't ask them for help. Don't ask them where nothing is. You go in there, you mind your business, and you do your own thing, okay? So the next thing is, it's okay to clear the shelves. And I know a lot of people will not agree with me, but sorry, not sorry, okay? Because I have six people living in my home. It's myself, my husband, and my four kids. Everybody in my house is greedy, okay? So if they have some cereal that's going to be a penny, and it's the summertime, I'm going to clear that shelf. Like I said, I'm sorry, but I am not sorry. Because that's just me. Some of you may feel different. Some of you may agree with me. It's kind of like a biased statement, but oh well. Alright, next thing is first come, first serve when the store opens. I like to be at the store when it opens. As soon as they unlock that door, I'm right there on their heels like, okay, so when we going in? That's just me. Some people don't like to go get up early that morning. That's when you lose a lot of items because you're laying in the bed, sleeping. I know you're tired. I know you stayed up late last night watching TV. But if it's a great penny list, I'm definitely going to be there soon as the doors open and that's that come, kind of comes along with you can't get mad when you don't find anything all right so the next one is mm, be nice and use your manners no matter if it's the employees the dollar general uh, manager other penny shoppers be nice you don't have to be mean we're all in this together. Well, no, not really. We're not all in this together because it's like a competition. Not a competition, but kind of like, I got to get my stuff. Let me see how much I can get, you know? So, you can still be nice. You know, don't be mean. Even like a basketball game. When I watch basketball with my husband, you don't see the... You Sometimes you see them fighting, but most of the time they, put, they have good sportsmanship. That's it. Let's have good penny shoppership. If that makes sense. If that even goes together. But you get what I'm saying. So let's be nice and use our manners. We all have manners. I'm pretty sure our parents, mother, father, whoever raised you, raised you up in the right, respectful way. So take those manners to Dollar General on Tuesday morning. All right. The next one is don't be mean. Keep it clean. And I love this one because when you go into Dollar General, 
um, and you're looking for stuff like me. And I'm always going to put myself on the chopping block because I'm me. I know me. So if I'm looking for something, whether it's high, low, or, you know, just eye level, I move stuff. No matter what shelf it's on, I'm moving stuff. Or I'm putting it on the ground, maybe I'm putting it on another shelf, taking off the shelf, putting it on the shelf back there, whatever the case may be. I'm moving stuff, but once I find what I'm looking for, if I don't find what I'm looking for, I'm putting everything back in its rightful place. And I take my kids with me, and if you take your kids with you, especially over the summertime, they're watching you, so they're like, well, when mama goes shopping, or when dad or whoever goes shopping, they make a mess, so whenever I decide, okay, I think I'm going to coupon too, I'm going to make a mess too. You teach why you why you working, Okay. Remember that. So be clean. Keep it clean. Okay. No, don't be mean. Keep it clean. <laughs> so the next one is coupons can be used when penny shopping. I have a lot of people ask me that all the time. Can you use coupons when penny shopping? The answer is yes. Me personally, I don't do that because I don't see what's the point. Everything's a penny. I don't care whether it's 20 cents or whatever. How cheap can you get than a penny? I'm just saying that's me. Another one is don't fuss with employees. Um, I don't see what's the point because whether, you know, believe it or not, they have the upper hand over you at the end of the day. Whether you decide to call corporate, that's on you. But I know myself, I'm not fussing over no penny items, which I can buy at regular price. I'm not going to do it. Quick story time. I went to, and excuse my key belts, and I went to um, a store where I live and... It's one of the stores that I dread going to, but I still went anyway. You know, I was by myself. I didn't have my kids. So I was like, I'm just going to go to all the dog journals and just chill out, you know. So I went and I found some purple dot hangers. So I was so excited. I scanned it with my DigiGo app. It came with regular price. So I was like, man, what in the world? So the girl seen me and I knew her. She knew me very well. And she was like, you're looking for penny items? I was like, yeah. So she was like, um... Uh, are they ringing up a penny? I was like, well, on my, my DG Go app is ringing, up, is ringing up regular price. So the manager had to be watching me on the camera. So she comes out the back all fast and whatever. And she was like, they're regular price. I checked this morning. And stared me down, honey. I was like, oh, okay. I'm going to go put the back. Whew. You know, I could have fussed with her. But, like, what's the point? They were like a dollar or something anyway. You know. Sometimes you're going to get good employees, good managers. Sometimes you're going to get snobby, mean ones, hateful ones, or whatever. Don't fuss with them because at the end of the day, if you got the money to buy it, just buy it straight out if you really, really, really want it. Another one is, um, don't be sad when you don't find anything. Whether you, you are a first beginner penny shopper or you've been in the game as long as I have been in it, um... Don't be sad because you, you're going to have good Tuesdays and then you're not going to have so much good Tuesdays. It just depends on the day. You know, things happen. There's some stores that I go to that I know don't clear their shelves. And then sometimes I can go and I find so much stuff. And then sometimes I go and I can't find a thing. And I'm like, I know good and well they don't never clear the shelves take their penny items down but what I had came to realize is that um people buy this stuff before it pennies out just to buy it like like sugar we're gonna use sugar again for example people use sugar so sugar was already had a good sale on it with coupons so when it came time for it to be a penny they were it was all gone so things like that happen so it's okay. You're going to do good sometimes. Sometimes you're not. But I promise you, when you find your first penny, I remember finding my first penny. I was so happy. I text my husband at work like, babe, I found my first penny. Look. Took a picture. Like, you can see all my teeth. I was just so excited. I wanted to tell my mom. I was just so happy. And ever since then, it was like a draw. Like, I was so addicted to penny shopping. And now it's just like, if I go, I go. If not, oh well. So hopefully these tips work out for you guys. It was it's a lot, but not a lot. So hopefully it works out for you. Hopefully you can conquer and devour these couponing worlds. 
and conquer and devour these penny deals because always like i always say if i can do it you can do it too there was a time where i always would say i can't do it i can't penny shop i never find a penny i don't i can't coupon i can't put these coupons together how do i do this somebody help me but if you have a determined mind it will definitely work out for you and also i have a little little gem for you guys um so earlier today i was just out minding my business and on my Instagram, the freebie got uploaded. And remember to please, please follow him on Instagram and on YouTube at the, and I will put it on this side of the screen, the freebie guy. He put up a general, I hope you guys can see that. It's the Dollar General New Penny List starts August 8th. And the list is working today. Today's August 8th. And the list is so long. Like, if y'all can see that, if, if it's not a glare. The list is so long, so this will definitely this list will definitely be. What in the world is going on with my speech today? The list will definitely be at the end of this video. So make sure you do your screenshots, put your shoes on, and just run to the nearest Dollar General. I highly recommend to go to different Dollar Generals because just because this store doesn't have the stuff you're looking for, I guarantee that the next store will definitely have it. And if you're not yet subscribed, I ask that you please hit the subscribe button and get connected with Nisha's World. I ask that you please hit the little bell so that you can get all the post notifications every time I upload a video. And I want to give a special, special, special thank you to all my new subscribers. You did have to subscribe to my channel, but I am so, so thankful and grateful that you did. And to all my OG subscribers, I know I'm just really getting into this for the from the day one, A1, I really appreciate you for rocking with me, just staying with me, even though sometimes I get slack, honey, you are still there. So this is definitely bringing it into this video, and I'll see you when I see you when I see you, and I love you, and I mean it. Bye.